world is filled to the brim with some really awesome creatures. We have some that are majestic, some that are gentle, some that are big, some that are small, but a lot of them can be pretty freaking scary. With that being scary though, also comes a lot of danger. Most of the time at least. And those dangerous animals are who we're going to be talking about today. From an animal nicknamed the Black Death to a common lowly snail, stay with me as we talk about 10 animals you should run away from. Number 10. The Cape Buffalo. The Cape Buffalo is a big dopey looking bovine, but I wouldn't let its looks fool you. This horned beast right here? It's probably the most dangerous animal in all of Africa. Quite the reputation, actually. The Cape Buffalo has been known to travel in large herds, consisting of adults, elderly, and children, and all of them are fiercely protective of one another. You might be a little confused as to see them on this list, actually, as a lot of the time you may see them being taken down by packs of lions or crocs or some other kind of large, terrifying predator. But you haven't seen the right videos, as this buffalo can be downright horrifying if it's wounded or cornered. This beast has been said to be responsible for more human deaths than most other beasts in Africa, and has also been known to kill attacking lions and even seeking out their cubs to kill as well. This beast can charge its target at a staggering 35 miles per hour, and with both sharp horns and a weight that can reach up to a ton, it more than earns its nickname of the Black Death. Number 9. The Pufferfish The pufferfish is yet another dopey looking animal. Silly looking eyes, a chubby little body, and that video of the pufferfish eating a carrot didn't really help people think any differently. However, what this little guy lacks in intimidation, he more than makes up for in toxin, being one of the deadliest fishes in the world. The pufferfish is found in tropical seas around the globe, and is also a popular dish amongst fish enthusiasts. However, this fish is the second most poisonous vertebrate in the entire world, with its body filled to the brim with deadly tetrodotoxin. This poison is 1,200 times more deadly than cyanide and is located in the fish's skin, muscle tissue, kidneys, liver, and of course, its gonads, and can be secreted from the spikes it protrudes from its body when threatened. So, of course, this is one fish you should stay away from. And yet we don't. In fact, we actively want to eat this dang thing. Fugu, a delicacy over in Japan, is cut up puffer fish that is served to regular patrons. Now, granted, this dish is only to be prepared by chefs who have several years of experience with this dish, and I believe you also have to sign a waiver as well. With that said, it should be fine, right? Well, despite the effort taken to cut out the poison bits, accidental deaths via consumption still occur every year. We're really not that bright, are we? Number 8. The Saltwater Croc Finally, an animal that doesn't look dopey. The saltwater croc is a common resident in the Indo-Pacific regions of the world. This croc has no issues living in fresh or salt water, able to move and hunt in either environment with terrifying effectiveness. This beast amongst crocs can grow up to 23 feet in length and weigh a metric ton, but the scariest fact about this reptile is its bite force. This croc possesses a bite force of 3700 PSI, which is the strongest bite force ever recorded for a living creature. For reference, we as humans only have a measly 162 PSI bite. Couple that with the croc's notoriously short temper and natural aggression, it would be wise to run as fast as you can. Or, you know, try to swim. But by that point, it might be too late. Number 7. The Box Jellyfish. You would think a jellyfish wouldn't fit this list so well, am I right? Well, maybe for a common jellyfish, yes, but the box jellyfish? Ooh, boy. Buckle up, kiddos, I got a story for you. The box jellyfish is a native off the coast of Australia, floating to and throw wherever the water takes them and just generally being a chill little fish. So unless it accidentally bumps into you when you're out at sea or you intentionally go after one, you won't be in danger of their terrible, terrible venom. The venom in question is located in their tentacles, more specifically the nematosis that covers said tentacles. These cysts contain a toxin that specifically targets your heart, nervous system, and skin cells. This venom causes hundreds of deaths each year, and despite there being an anti-venom, most people will be unable to receive it, as the poison will cause the victim to go into shock and drown. If you do happen to survive, however, be ready for horrid pain for weeks on end. Number 6. The Indian Red Scorpion The scorpion in question is located primarily in India and eastern Pakistan. It's commonly found in humid tropical habitats as well as near human settlements. 
Now, this scorpion admittedly isn't near as dangerous as everything else on this list, but it's still something to watch out for as it's far easier for humans to come into contact with. While it isn't very aggressive, it will still defend itself if it feels threatened and deliver a sting from its tail that's filled with a powerful poison, which will attack the target's pulmonary and cardiovascular system. This in turn can lead to pulmonary edema, which has a chance to lead to death. Now, adults have a better chance of surviving, but children are at a much higher risk of a fatality. And unfortunately, anti-venom doesn't do much. It's more of a prey away the situation. Number 5. The Indian Saw-Scale Viper Sure, plenty of snakes are dangerous already. In fact, we have another far deadlier snake next on this list, but I want to put the spotlight on the Saw-Scaled Viper. This is a snake native to not only India, but also Asia. The saw scale, while not the deadliest snake in the world by far, is still something to be careful around as they're a top contributor to snake bites on humans. The saw scale lives in more populated areas, making bites inevitable, and these bites are filled with a very lethal poison, capable of killing a healthy human. While the anti-venom does exist and is effective, there's still a chance that you'll be bitten again due to its close proximity to humans. Thankfully, though, the snake will at least warn you before an attack, with its scales rubbing together and creating a sizzling saw-like sound. Number 4. The Black Mamba And here's that other snake I mentioned earlier. This terrifying snake is located in Africa, found primarily in the savanna and dense forests. While the Black Mamba itself is not pure black, it gets its name from the inside of its mouth, which is a dark black in color. Much like the saw scale, the black mamba is not an aggressive snake, opting to attack only when it's threatened and will display its mouth and hiss at an intruder. The mamba is capable of striking at longer distances than a regular snake, delivering several bites in the span of only a few seconds. Funnily enough though, those strikes are not the scary part about the black mamba, but the venom it uses? Oh, boy, that's the scary part. The venom this snake produces has earned it the title of the most feared snake in Africa, as the venom is strong enough to kill 10 humans in a single bite. There is an anti-venom, however, you only have about 20 minutes to administer the medication, or you will most certainly perish. Number 3. The Stonefish The stonefish is one of the most venomous fish in the ocean, with humans often being the victims of their deadly toxins. They aren't aggressive at all, preferring to stay in one place and relax, and it's quite common for some poor sap to step on one when they're taking a stroll in shallower waters. This fish is actually pretty easy to miss and step on, as it lives up to its nickname of looking like some simple underwater rock. While it obviously is ill-advised to step on a stonefish in general, if you manage to only step on it lightly, the effects of its poison should be much easier to deal with, being mild at best. However, if you happen to step heavily on this fish, you're going to be in some true danger. The venom secreted from the stonefish can kill within one hour, but you can actually take steps to slow the spread while you wait for anti-venom. Those steps are to apply water over 113 degrees Fahrenheit to the affected area, and then try not to move too much after. The venom affects the upper torso of human victims, causing intense spinal pain, cardiovascular damage, possible paralysis, and of course, uh, well, death. And now it's time for the day's best pick. The pick for today is... gross, to say the least. This looks like a human-animal hybrid created in some mad scientist's weird lab, but thankfully, this is fake. But don't worry, I got another animal you should stay away from. Stay with me now as we talk about number two, the Zizi fly. Now, you might be confused by this, and I wouldn't blame you. A fly? I mean, how is that dangerous? I see them all the time, you may say. And who, oh, my friend? I'm so glad you asked. The Zizi fly is a native of Africa and is considered to be the most dangerous fly in the entire world. These guys are about the size of a common house fly, but unlike the ones we see every day, these little jerks are out for your blood. Literally. These flies are bloodsuckers, being most active in their feeding routine during warmer times. During their feeding, they leave microscopic parasites called trypanosomes, which are a direct cause of the deadly African sleeping sickness. Sleeping sickness is a terrible neurological disease that often results in sudden mood changes and increased irritability, poor coordination, fever, severe headaches, and swollen lymph nodes, and a poor sleeping schedule. And for the insomniac types like me, it's not like that at all. This sleep deprivation is painful due to the aforementioned symptoms. If left untreated, though, this disease will result in death, commonly a few months after its first contact. 
Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Cone Snail We finished our list with probably the least impressive looking specimen on this list. I mean, after a crocodile and a few snakes, this is the final entry? Well, yes, and there's a good reason. This little guy is quite terrifying, actually, especially if you like cigarettes. You'll understand that in a second. The cone snail is a very pretty creature with a vibrant shell that most would want to pick up and inspect or even take home for their collection. And that's how it gets you. If some ignorant tourist dares to pick up this beautiful shell, the cone snail will lash out with its spear-like teeth, which contain a deadly and complex venom called conotoxin. While only a handful of people have been stung, that doesn't change the fact that it's one of the deadliest creatures in the world, with the conotoxin stopping nerve cell communication, which results in rapid paralysis. The venom is rapid and there is no anti-venom. Remember the cigarette quip from earlier? Well, that's still relevant, as this snail's alternate name is the cigarette snail, and that's because if you get stabbed by this creature, you'll have enough time for one last cigarette. Maybe, if you're lucky enough. That's our video for today, everybody. What was your favorite animal? Which one do you want to stay away from the most? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, leave us a like and subscribe, or even watch one of the other videos suggested above. With all that said and done, that's our video for the day, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.